Well, everybody, to welcome to another day in the shop, and it's a day in the shop with Howard Zane. How are you, Howard? Oh, Jesus <laughs> you got to get a new act going. I'm fine. I'm fine. Well, and we have uh, again, big brother, little brother, and this is a Howard Zane design, and this is little brother in HO scale. And folks, little brother's not too little. I mean, little brother looks to be about maybe twenty. Uh, little brother is about eighteen by six. Right. And Big Brother is double the size, double the height, double the width, mm -hmm. double the length. And it's just a beautiful, interesting design that Howard did. So let's go ahead and rotate it, Howard. And why don't we talk about the... Here, let me let me pause this real quick and just move Little Brother out of the way. Okay. Who is, who's sold, incidentally. All right, Howard, go ahead and give us a tour of rotating and tell us about it. Well, it's one of my favorite designs. I love designing stations. I don't do these cutesy things. I like to make it, even though it's, a, I like to use a lot of imagination. Mm -hmm. I like to stay within what I call Appalachian Gothic. Okay. And this is, again, is the embodiment of Appalachian Gothic, the way I see it. Wow. And uh, there's so much more we can do. We can do outdoor stairs, cupolas here, more mm -hmm. dormers. Right. But uh, the buildings are going this way, and the structure's going that way, and as you see, there's so many wonderful structure kits. But no, let's try to make it a believable and honest. Right. So that's what this design is. Now, this was the original Chitonet. Okay. It's spelled C H I T T O N E T. Chitonet. Chitonet. It like, sounds like a town in Rhode Island. Chitonet, Rhode Island. <laughs> in essence, it's a play on words. Use your imagination. <laughs> Don't you have a piss on it? I have a piss on it and I have a barf on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like my favorite railroad is the Franklin Ulster, you know. Uh, Chester Town and Kingston, oh. interstate transfer. Well, that's a play of the words. What does it mean? I don't know. Fuck it. <laughs> oh God, this is uh, pretty. That's the reporting marks. Well, let's rotate it on the rotisserie here. The, the lazy Susan and. Yeah, thank God. And you know, if you go, you builders, you gotta buy lazy Susans. Yes. It's so effective. We get all sizes here. You know, this is just pretty. It's just a pretty station. Well, this like, one. The customer wants very light weathering. Mm -hmm. So uh, how do we do that? Uh, no pastel, no airbrush, mm -hmm. but we want to bring the color into scale. Now, this was originally painted what was called uh, what, sand color. What the hell was it, beige? But, yeah, it was uh, almond, uh, almond. 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 Yeah, yeah, satin yeah, almond. Yeah, satin almond. Satin almond. And when painted, it was bright. It stuck right. out like a sore thumb. So what we did, we made up a mixture and uh, of uh, alcohol, mm -hmm. probably 99%. Uh, Mm -hmm. Why 99%? Because it evaporates a lot faster. Okay. And drafting ink, Pelican wow. drafting ink, and, uh, or any kind, of, any kind of ink, actually. The best inks for coloring with uh, alcohol would be uh, Windsor Newton mm -hmm. inks that are still available. And, and you might check uh, eBay or something like that. So you get Windsor Newton ochre and black mm -hmm. and sepia and brown color. Uh, I forgot what brown it was. Mm -hmm. Those are the best things you could use. It really Anyhow, That's how we brought this back in the color. We just made a mixture of, uh, of uh, black and alcohol. Mm -hmm. And we used basically uh, with a pint, we used probably a tablespoon, not a teaspoon, but a tablespoon mm -hmm. of egg. And that brings the color to the scale. I really like the, the, uh, the now the, the dry brushing on the roof. Tell folks how you well, did that. something them. else. This, uh, it's uh, the roof is painted sort of a, a, a grimy black. It actually, the color is a uh, Krylon Anvil, an, gray, anvil Gray. Anvil Gray, yeah. And it's almost exactly like the old Flugwool Grimy Black. Except grimier. Mm -hmm. So the first coat is done with that. And then we highlight it with a Dover Light. Mid Midian Brown. Uh, here, let me see if I have it here. Oh, here we go. Mm -hmm. ah, I found it. This is what we used to highlight it. Okay. These uh, accent colors are there's so many different. You go to any Michaels or any kind of craft store, you yeah. have all these uh, wild honey craft paints, wild honey, yeah. and that's how we do the uh, upper like this. And yeah. then I go over it with uh, hit it with gray mm -hmm. and a lighter shade of black, and that's how I get that slate look to it. Mm. It's really pretty, and of course, uh, it, you're going to put it, some details on the. Oh, we forgot all about these beautiful corbels. Well, that was your idea. Yeah, to use these O scale corbels mm -hmm. and really woke up the uh, yeah. the underside of it. Now, this uh, was the color, also the concrete color is your design. Mm -hmm. And it's, I like it, it's very good. Oh, thank you. If we use the gray, sort of a grayish concrete, it would conflict with the actual model. So the model, it kind of pops. Mm -hmm. The color of the floor is good. 
and the uh, this color beige. Now the original Shatana, if you look at it, mm -hmm. I did that with a gray stain. It's right behind you. Yes, let's go look. And, uh, that's nice, but I, I kind of like this look a little better. Mm -hmm. And then you can detail it with people and oh, loads. Yeah, that's, and well, that's up to the customer. That's up to the now, customer. That one, well, I mean, that was a spec hat. It's, it's sold now, but we built that as a speculation right. structure it was long ago. Now, I found <clears throat> that when I put people in crates on, lay on structures that clients want, mm -hmm. they usually want them in a different position. Right. So you can't, it's a lose-lose it's a -lose situation. Right. So I'll let the customer do that. Right. It's easy yeah. to do. Now, if you want, we'll be glad to sell him figures, but let him place them. Right. Well, Howard, this is a, another beautiful building, and it's available for sale in O scale and in HO scale. Mm. I, we don't stock these uh, in stock. Now, the only reason that this was here, this was a trade. Well, that was a sold and it came back because the customer changed scales. Changed scales. And that's one of the advantages here, that uh, we work out those things. And we sold this one. Uh, so, But if you want an HO one... I think this son of a gun was sold twice, wasn't it? Yeah, it yeah. Was and and uh, we just sold it again. And uh, the fellow that's coming up to pick it up uh, from Roanoke, Virginia, it's a splendid specimen. But if you want one, we can make you one. And uh, in either HO scale... Or O scale. Now the O scale one looks to be. I'm guessing. I bet you this is 30 inches long, by maybe 13 or 14 wide at the widest point. I'll bet you. I'm pretty good at this. Here, let me let me pause the video. 24. I don't have a ruler here. All right. So the verdict's in, folks. It's 36 inches long by 11 inches wide. The widest point. This narrow point is about eight inches. Yep. In HO scale, and then in, no, this, I mean, this, O scale, O scale, in o scale right. yeah, 36 by 11 at the widest point, and then in HO scale, uh, this one uh, measures out. Yeah, you got to remember, I'm not exactly doubling it because uh, I'm converting it from uh, 187 to 148. Right, uh, right. Big difference. Well, Howard, thank you. It was an excellent build. It's a beautiful building. And if you want one, if you're interested in having one custom built, contact us at LPUG1 at Verizon.net. Thanks, Howard. Oh, you're quite welcome. Did you mention that we should, uh, the, uh, you should expedite that call because I'm 86. I don't know how long <laughs> I'm going to be around. We hopefully. You want an original Howard Zane? Or, uh, now, the reason I'm, uh, Al Scott here is a disciple. When I uh, leave this planet, he's going to pick up where I left off. Well, I might. He'll be my fully qualified. He my now, uh, my apprenticeship is eight years, so I'm one year in. So you got to last at least another seven years, Howard. Well, another seven years. <laughs> huh? Well, I'll, I'll do my best. I promise. <laughs> hey, folks! Thanks for watching. Hey, thanks, man.